What's going on guys, the CTA Prime back here again. Today I'm gonna to show you how to run PUBG Mobile on a Windows-based machine, be it a laptop or a desktop. In order for all this to work, we're gonna be downloading an application from the developers of PUBG called Tencent Gaming Buddy. This is their official Android emulator that allows you to play mobile games on your Windows-based PC. It's really easy to use and it actually works fairly well. I wanna show you the specs of this system real quick. For the CPU, I have an i3-4170 at 3.7 GHz, 8 GB of DDR4 RAM. Now, 4 GB will work, but if you have under 3 gigs, like a little laptop with 2 gigs, it won't even install. That's the only issue I've run into with this. You need at least 3 GB of RAM for this to work. And finally, for the GPU, I'm just using the onboard graphics of this i3. They're the Intel HD 4400 graphics, so they're not that powerful, but it does run PUBG Mobile pretty well with Tencent's Gaming Buddy. So the first thing we wanna do is head over to the link in the description. Like I said, this is the official Gaming Buddy. Now, when you start playing PUBG Mobile on your Windows machine, you're gonna be paired with other people playing on an emulator just like this. There are other ways you can do this out there. There's a few other Android emulators for Windows, but I wanted to show you the official Gaming Buddy here because I think it works better than most of the other ones. We're just going to download, and you will need to be connected online while you're playing, while you're downloading. This is an online game. I'm going to save it. From here, I'm just going to open folder, and I'm going to double click on it. We want to install this. You might get a prompt to allow it to install. Just go ahead and click OK. Let this finish up. When it's done installing, click Start. You're going to be brought to a screen that looks something like this. There are a few other Android games that we can install and play on here as well, but we're worried about PUBG. We're going to go ahead and install it. The download time can vary. It can take anywhere from 3 to 20 minutes, depending on how fast your internet connection is, so just let it finish up. When PUBG Mobile is finished downloading, all we need to do is click play. Now you can sign in to their Tencent Gaming Buddy here if you'd like to. You can sign in with Google or Facebook. Now I'm not trying to scare anybody, but whenever I use these Android emulators, I never use my main Google account. You never know what kind of security is behind this. This is just a word of warning. I use a dummy account. I actually don't really play PUBG, so I don't even have an account for the game itself. But I wanted to show you guys this in action. It's really up to you if you want to sign in or not. So up in the top, we have some options. We can go full screen with it. Over here, we can remap our keyboard. This button here will shake the device like a handheld Android phone. Another full screen mode. Or F11 to back out of here. There's actually a lot of options in here. If you hover over it, it'll tell you exactly what it does. I'm gonna go back to full screen. I'm gonna let this finish updating. I'm gonna show you the settings I use on my PC, and then we'll get into a game real quick. Whenever you start the game up, you're going to get a notice like this, emulator detected. Your team and you will be only paired with players using emulators. So there's going to be a lot of people on here using mouse and keyboard to play this game. Click OK. As for the settings, I just go down here to the settings icon, graphics. I do HD, ultra, and that's about all I change on this machine here. You can mess around with it if you'd like to. You can go to Extreme, but I use HD, Ultra, click OK, and OK. Now we're going to back out, start a game. We're now running PUBG Mobile on our Windows PC. When you first start it up and you're in this waiting area, it might seem a little laggy, might get a couple glitches here and there. Just give it a little time. It will straighten out as long as your system can handle it. And speaking of that, the specs for this emulator are actually pretty slack. For your CPU, you need a dual core Intel or AMD at 1.8 gigahertz. For the GPU, they recommend an NVIDIA GeForce 8600, 9600 GT, or a Radeon 2600 to 3600. They don't say anything about built-in Intel HD graphics, but I'm running this on a 4400, so I'd say anywhere from the 4400 on up is going to be fine. We're about to start here. 
if you want to unlock your mouse so you can navigate around the screen to go to settings and things like that, press left control. That'll unlock the mouse. It's going to act as touch because we're playing PUBG Mobile here. If you're experiencing lag, the best thing to do is open up your settings and drop the graphics down a little bit. I'm going to do a drop in just to show you how it performs here, and I'm going to skip right into a little bit of gameplay. I'm actually surprised at how well this is working on these Intel graphics. If you're used to using a controller, you can set that up here. They also have a full forum on the Tencent Gaming Buddy. I'll leave a link for that in the description in case you run into any issues. You can ask some questions over there. I'm using a keyboard and mouse right now, and it's set up just like it is on the original PUBG game. Out of the box, this does have automatic pickup, automatic open door, and automatic enter vehicle on, but you can turn those off in the setting also. I actually like leaving those on, but it's really up to you. Performance will vary from system to system, but the overall specs of PUBG Mobile are much lower than the original PUBG game, and this is free to play, so if you don't have an Android phone that can run this or run it at full speed, this is a great option for you. So that's pretty much it for this video guys, I really appreciate you watching. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below and don't forget to check out the links in the description. I'm going to leave a link to that forum in case you run into any major issues, they might have the answer over there. If you could, hit that like button, maybe subscribe to the channel, and like always, thanks for watching.